KDE Neon is a Linux distribution developed by KDE based on Ubuntu long-term support releases, bundled with a set of additional software repositories containing the latest versions of the Plasma 6 desktop environment framework, Qt6 toolkit and other compatible KDE software. Developer, KDE. Initial release, June 8, 2016, 8 years ago. Latest release, user edition, 2024028 based on Ubuntu 22.04 and Plasma 6, kernel Linux 6.5, the 28th of February, 2024, six months ago. OS family, Linux, Lunix-like. Repository, community.kde.org forward slash neon forward slash git. Source model, open source. Straight from KDE. More than ever, people expect cutting-edge features delivered right from their developers, with no modifications or gatekeeping. KDE Neon delivers this by packaging the hottest software fresh from the KDE community ovens, the moment it's released. You should use KDE Neon if you are an adventurous KDE enthusiast who wants the latest and greatest from the KDE community as soon as it's available, with no delays, opinionated patches, or UX changes. This is KDE software the way KDE designed it. Make computing your own with Plasma Desktop. We think that your desktop is your desktop. Make it unique with the option to dive into every minimal detail from visuals to work patterns. Plasma Desktop from the KDE community is a smart, effective, and beautiful environment from the very first time you start it. Using KDE Neon, Plasma, and KDE applications will be continuously updated, so no more waiting, adding package archives, or downloading source code if you want what's new. Get a powerful, secure desktop that you can take anywhere. Access your shells on multiple devices from a smart TV to your smartphone. You can even breathe fresh life into that old computer. Make your next computer a computer in the cloud with shells. Transform any device into a powerful, secure desktop with shells. Whether you want to code on your smartphone or produce a fresh new track on your TV, with shells you can unlock the full performance and experience of a desktop computer on any device. While KDE Neon is great for casual users, contributors will find KDE Neon excels. Whether you are a coder, tester, artist, or do bug triage, KDE Neon is the easiest way to work on the latest KDE software. Unstable and Testing Archives provides packages of KDE software built on our continuous integration system directly from GIT. We believe open software developed outside a single corporate silo is important for healthy projects to incubate and grow. Ubuntu has been chosen as a base for its reliable core technology, but KDE Neon itself is a separate KDE project aiming to best serve the interest of developers, users, and the wider community. KDE Neon is primarily intended for technical Linux KDE users who want immediate access to the latest KDE offerings. The testing and unstable editions are for users who are on a mission to see KDE apps and Plasma desktop succeed and are willing to contribute to KDE by becoming beta testers of the software. The user edition is for enthusiast KDE users who expect a bit more Polish. Please note that the focus of the user edition is still KDE software asterisk only star. There is no thorough review of the complete software stack to guarantee a rock-solid day-to-day experience. KDE developers endeavor to minimize bugs and maximize stability within the scope of the KDE software stack. However, using the latest software the moment it's released will inevitably result in a less stable experience compared to distros that delay software by days, weeks, or months. If you have mission-critical reliability needs, KDE Neon might not be the right distro for you. To download this operating system, you first need to visit their website. At the top, you can see the website address, and right in the middle, you can see the download button. By clicking here, you can easily download the installation file. It's very simple to download. Here, you will see several editions, and you can download the edition of your choice. I am downloading the first edition, which is the user edition. You can download the edition you prefer and install it on your system. 
Now, let's look at how to begin the installation or how you can start the installation process on your computer. In this case, you can see that I have copied my downloaded file to my virtual system. In your case, you can install it on your live machine or on a virtual system, the process will be the same in both cases. So, let's get started. Many of you who watch my videos already know that I create and share these videos with you using Proxmox. In that case, many of you are already familiar with how to create a virtual machine using Proxmox. Therefore, in this video, I won't be going over the process of creating a virtual machine with Proxmox in detail again. You can easily understand it by watching the steps, so please take a quick look. In this case, you can see that our virtual machine has been successfully created, and we are starting it from the virtual control panel. The machine has been booted up. As soon as the system starts, you will see a desktop like this. If you have a static internet connection, you must manually configure it here, otherwise, the installation might face issues. However, if your internet connection is dynamic, you won't need to do anything. Since I am using a static connection, I need to manually configure my internet connection here. At the very top of the desktop, you will see an icon that says Install System. When you double-click on it, a window will appear that says KDE Neon Installer. From here, you will need to start the installation process. Simply follow the on-screen options as shown, and you won't face any issues during installation. First, you will be asked to select your language, then to set up your time zone or location. After that, you'll be prompted to enter details such as your system name, password, and other required information, exactly as I have shown. If you correctly fill out all the options, you will proceed to the next step. At the very end, you will see the Installs button. Click on it and wait for a while as the necessary files are copied to your system. Please note that this process may take some time, depending on your computer or virtual system's configuration. If this video is helpful or useful to you, I would greatly appreciate it if you could share and subscribe to our channel to stay connected.